Hey, this is Alex from Gretel. Today we're going to walk through an example using Gretel's classify APIs to identify sensitive information inside of a data set. Go ahead to the dashboard and click choose file. From here we can upload a uh, CSV file or a JSON file of our choice. We're uploading a sample data set from Kaggle that contains uh, a fair amount of PII, including it um, from a set of open source customer bike orders. We'll add to a new project. Go ahead and do default name. So you can see the project has been created. Next, we'll select an API. We're going to run classify and label in this case. Click continue. You can see inside this data set, we discovered 23 fields, 99 records. Uh, we're going to go with a default configuration here, which is searching for um, standard PII, person names, credit card numbers, and things like that inside of a data set. You can extend that very easily using the full list above. Here we get a preview of the data set. So we see both things that look like user IDs, first names, last names, addresses, and so on. Our goal here is to identify anywhere inside of the data set that this PII exists. You can see the validation of the configuration option. Next, the service is searching in the cloud for a container worker to spin up, and this container worker will process this data set and give us back our results. Gretel developers have the option here of going with our cloud service to do labeling or data transformation or synthetics, um, or actually um, to run it inside of their own environment by deploying it as a container. Here we can see it's starting the job in the cloud. Okay, data classification is done. We can see it found a variety of locations, person names, and phone numbers inside of the uh, data set here. We'll go ahead and do a different breakdown by clicking view results. We can see each field, so we see addresses containing locations. You can see that we found actually a total of 99 different um, addresses inside of there. Um, we have person names, we have phone numbers and things like that spread across different fields. So customers often use this type of data set um, and this API to identify where sensitive information sits inside of their data set. You can also pass the results of this on to the transform APIs, which we'll take a look at in the next video that allow you to automatically mutate or transform the data based on these results.